Hey, what's up everyone? It's Star Alliance Man 839 here, and today I've got a pretty big video for you guys. i got three main things to talk about, and the first one is going to be uh, reviewing this beautiful Phoenix Models 1400 scale Swiss International Airlines Airbus A330-300 uh, with the new titles. Second of all, I do need to talk about uh, some updates with my model airport. I'm not going to actually talk about the updates in this video. I'm going to just talk about what's going to be in that video because there's going to be a separate video just for uh, just talking about what's going to be uh, some new updates uh, about the model airport. And yeah, so that'll be a separate video. And I'm just going to talk about that after this review um, about basically what's going to be in that video. And uh, then third of all, obviously, you guys might have noticed uh, that the channel name of mine, uh, it used to be Deciphers92935. If you're a new subscriber, if you take a look at all uh, my recent videos or all of my videos in the past, they have all said uh, Deciphers92935. Um, I will talk about that at the end of this video as well and just talk about basically how it happened, why I did it, and etc. So we'll first get on with this model. As you can see, this is in the new titles, which I'm also very happy about. Uh, and this A330-300, this aircraft flies down to O'Hare and JFK, so I'm quite happy to have it now. I'm glad I have the correct aircraft. Uh, and as you can see, it is a Phoenix model, and it's quite nicely detailed. And I'm really happy that uh, Phoenix models did release, the, uh, did release this model. Um, I did get it from ARD, but I'm not sure if they have it available now. But... Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is a rare model. I think it probably is, but um, anyway, I'm, I'm just really happy to have it, and uh, we'll get started with the box. So here's the box. Uh, it's usually with Phoenix models, they just uh, with Phoenix models they just like to decorate their boxes, and as you can see here, um, you just have a real life photo of the skies and uh, clouds, and then you have the 2D drawing of the aircraft there. Airbus A230-300, then Swiss. Uh, here's the registration of the aircraft. HB Jess. Uh, sorry, HB JHK, and the tick for that aircraft, and uh, then the barcode 1400 scale. This is not the back, the barcode is actually on the front and the back. On the sides, you just have this nice white, and then the Phoenix Models logo, some more details, uh, just the sides there. On the back is the exact same thing as the front. So I'm trying to get some more light in here. Um, yeah, so the back is the exact same thing as the front, except you don't have a tick, because uh, obviously this is a, re a different registration on the back here, it says HB-JHL, um, I don't have that registration, so the tick is not there, and as you can see, this is the registration and the tick is there. So, uh, yeah, now we'll get started with the review. This is a very nice model, uh, it does have rolling landing gear, as now with all Phoenix models uh, clearly do, and they're really nice. So, uh, yeah, we'll get started. So, as you can see, we'll just start with the front landing gear, actually. We have the two last letters uh, of the registration of this aircraft, which are HK. If I can try and focus again here. So, there's HK, if you can see that right there, just uh, below the L1 door. Move on to the cockpit. Quite nice cockpit details, and nose cone detail is quite nice as well. I'm quite impressed with that as well. Let me move on around here. There's a front view of the aircraft right there. Quite nice. And then around here, there's the nose cone over there. And uh, yeah, right there, basically. There it is. Uh, moving on. Oops, sorry. Moving on. We have the L1 door right there. And then next to that, a uh, little small is the Star Alliance logo in between the cockpit and the L1 door. Also, the cockpit windows. Uh, pretty ordinary. I don't have that much to say about that. Uh, we have the TV satellite box right there, just above the Swiss titles, the nice big bold uh, Swiss titles. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Swiss had changed their titles, just the titles, not the entire livery. Uh, you still have that tail, the same tail. But um, Swiss did change their titles. It used to be written small Swiss, and then next to it I had it in four other different languages, which was pretty cool. But uh, like a lot of airlines nowadays are changing their titles to make it in a more bigger, bold uh, kind of feel and uh, yeah just to make it more obvious that you're flying Swiss I guess and uh, that's the same with JetBlue and United and all that so um, yeah people are trying to change their titles and make them bigger uh, so here also we have the L2 door right there just with that second S in the Swiss then we'll move on to the wings of the aircraft uh, I'll try to give you a little view of the winglet there if I can specifically focus on that yeah I'm not really having Good luck with that, but you can kind of see 
the winglet there. Not getting too much lighting, but um, yeah, there's the winglet if you can barely see that. But uh, there's actually on the other side. Sorry, I'm having pretty bad lighting with this, but on the other side, on the inside and the outside of the winglet, uh, you can kind of see that just there. The uh, Swiss flag is basically the white cross and then just the red around it. So that's on the inside and the outside. You guys can kind of see that up there. I can't exactly focus on it, but yeah, it does look that way. Now we'll get back to the L3 door. Uh, actually, we'll just get a little view of the wings right there. There you go, there's a nice overhead view of the wings. Pretty nice. And then you have the shiny white engines uh, with Swiss right there. So I'm trying to focus on that. There you go. So very nice there. I'm actually getting more lighting, so I should have started over here. So uh, yeah, there's the L3 door. Then we're moving back to the final L4 door at the rear of the aircraft. And then we'll move on to the tail. Beautiful Swiss tail. As you can see, it's just the white cross, basically the Swiss flag. Uh, as you can see on the tail there, and then you have the tail fins at the back of the aircraft there, and then there's just a back view of the aircraft right there. So it's overall a really nice aircraft. I'm very impressed with it. And so yeah, that's basically it for the aircraft. It's quite nice. Uh, if you guys can get your hands on it, I definitely 100% recommend it. It's really a nice model, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy to add it to my uh, add it into my collection. Uh, it's just a fabulous model, so very happy to have it. Uh, I'll move back for here now. So basically, now that the uh, review is done, I'm just going to talk about uh, what my uh, model airport video is going to be about. That's going to be either the next or the one after that. Uh, just about and updating uh, some details. So. Uh, I will talk about basically some new models coming in. The I'll make two videos, one about the airlines and details, and then another one once I'm done just kind of finalizing it up. Uh, I will do another one just uh, talking about basically so you guys can get a look at it. So I'll do one about details and then showing you guys the actual airport and then going around with all the aircraft and stuff. But the one regarding the details, I'm going to talk about the airline servicing the airport, um, the routes, the aircraft, basically all of those kind of details. Uh, also the terminals, uh, how, many terminals I'm, uh, how many terminals I'm going to have, uh, which airlines are servicing which terminal. I'm going to have a little map to show you which airlines and terminals are going to be servicing uh, at the airport. So it's going to be a pretty big project and it pretty, uh, pretty much has been. Uh, and there's going to be actually quite something pretty special that I'll have to tell you guys in that video, but I'm not going to uh, tell you guys about that now. But that will be in the next video, so definitely check that one out when it is uploaded. So uh, now that that is done, I'm just going to talk about the difference in my channel name. Uh, before, my uh, channel name was Deciphers92935. Uh, it was just a regular day on YouTube. I was just about to check out my dis uh, subscriptions and uh, what was happened... What, what basically happened was YouTube came up with a message saying if you wanted your email account as your channel name, which always comes up, or you could have your name, your d 929935 uh, your name currently, or you could change your name. Um, I actually didn't notice this, but I actually made d 929935 a while back, about, um, probably, uh, my first video was about a year and a couple months ago. Uh, it was April 2012, so uh, I made that a while back, and I even made the channel before that, and uh, I was actually quite young, and I didn't know exactly how YouTube worked, uh, which name I should choose. I just went out with my uh, my real name, actually, my real last name, um, and then my first initial. So that was, I just didn't notice that that, you know, should have, uh, that shouldn't have been my real name, because... Uh, I shouldn't have said my real last name. It's just not what people do on YouTube, and I just didn't notice that um, until actually about six months ago, or basically probably around Christmas, did I notice how basically YouTube worked and how people did things and reviews and what have you. So, um, yeah, I just kind of got the hang of it uh, around six months ago, or seven months ago, really, in Christmas. Um, and then I just started to kind of get annoyed about it because I couldn't change it. I tried really hard to change my name um, because it's really a pain. They, uh, uh, YouTube does not let you change your username. 
um, which is really annoying. So uh, that was quite annoying. But then when it said you could change your name, I was really, I just was amazed. Uh, I'd been waiting to have this name as my YouTube channel name, and it is Star Alliance Man 839. Now, Star Alliance, I'm a big Star Alliance, I'm, I'm a Star Alliance boy, I just do Star Alliance, I fly almost every flight with Star Alliance, I just love Star Alliance, I think they're the best alliance by far, but um, yeah, and also I'm a United Airlines flyer, so with United, they're part of Star Alliance, so you know, there are a lot of places that we do fly to, uh, especially in Europe, we always go on Lufthansa through Munich or Frankfurt all the time, so um, yeah, it's pretty, I just like uh, Star Alliance. I've just been flying Star Alliance for basically the whole of my life. And uh, the 839, I, there actually is a story behind that. Um, United Airlines Flight 839 was a flight that I used to take all the time from Los Angeles to Sydney. I used to live in Sydney, Australia until I moved to London. And uh, my I'm half American, half Australian, but I was born in New Zealand. So, But um, my mother is American, so she had her family always in America, so we were always uh, traveling between America and Australia. Uh, obviously on United, since it's about the only Star Alliance airline you can take to the uh, to the U.S. from uh, Sydney. So uh, yeah, we were always flying United uh, on a on a 747-422, uh, always to Sydney, and it was usually always in the blue tulip colors. I'd never flown on a new post merger colored uh, 747-422, but. Um, yeah, United Airlines Flight 839 is the flight from Los Angeles to Sydney, Australia, so yeah, I just decided to put that flight number. Um, I didn't want to have just Star Alliance Man, it's just like kind of US Airways Man, you know, US Airways Man 320, so I decided to do something a little similar to that, but just with an alliance, and uh, yeah, that flight number. So it's just kind of, I was always flying on that, and it's one of my favorite flights, actually. I always did it in business class because it's a 14-hour flight, so um, yeah. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I know the uh, lighting has been pretty bad in it, but uh, if you've watched the whole thing, thank you very much. This video has kind of gotten a little long now, but uh, anyways guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit 200 subscribers, and I'm trying to get 30,000 views. Um, I'm, I'm actually quite far away from that, but definitely 200 subscribers will definitely be worth the video, and I'll be very happy to reach the milestone. So. Uh, please do rate, comment, and subscribe on all of my videos if you'd like to, or if I, if you think I deserve it. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for all of you subscribers now, um, and yeah, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.